What if a game isn't exactly a good game? What if a game is basically something that you win because your opponent makes blunders instead of you are making brilliant moves? Well, this is one such game and it's just a short game. There is uh, one puzzle in there that I'm going to put in it. But basically, my opponent here, White, makes three blunders and I will point them up to you over there. The first one gives away strong advantage. The second one basically you know, lets me have advantage and the third one is mid. So with that in mind, let's start. The opening is basically rather slow opening with white taking care, uh, taking control of the center over here with the double pawn over here. And black is putting it stress on the diagonal. So that's a kind of like philosophical battle over there. Say, which one is better? Controlling the center by putting pawns in there or controlling the center by sending the bishops out, uh, taking, sending the long range bishop out. I believe the long range bishop because every time I try to hold the, con the center with the pawns, my opponent usually beat me. So, uh, yeah, not a good home thing, but a, a long, slow opening. And, you know, I have good result with that. So, so, so anyway, uh, so far, uh, the computer says what has advantage over here. Just a slight advantage, mo mostly because the pawn in, in the center there is, you know, taking control over there. So what is definitely an attacker and I'm the defender. So this is basically Owen defense, other variation. Uh, I surely get hit a lot over there. And it's not a quick move, you know, like opening trap. It's not like that at all. So anyway, the queen move to g5 and that's basically the middle game. This is the start of the middle game. And what is attacking very, very strongly. Next move. So this is, again, uh, trying to attack this one over here. Now I can handle it by doing this way, or I can just ignore it because I do have a knight over there. Next move. That's not exactly a good idea, really. I mean, um, I mean it's okay, but I would have been better off putting this pawn up over here and kick the net out of there. Next move. That's threatening to take the knight and of course I can always do this, no problem. This is a mistake. This is blunder number one. Basically, the knight can just go here and fuck the king and the rook over there. This is my opening and when I play this opening and there's a knight over there, I always watch out for this square over there because yeah, this is very, very strong square. Usually there's a bishop over here or maybe an, a knight and in this case a pawn over there. But I move the pawn. <laughs> I move the pawn. So, so that's blunder. Uh, pawn, the pawn that should be moved should be this pawn over there. So, so that's a blunder. Next move. And what just takes the knight as planned. So even though he, what could have won easy, it didn't happen. Next move. Let's take out the knight really quick over here. So suddenly, what keeps the advantage but not the overwhelmingly superior position that he could have had. So that one over that next move. Next move. And... Suddenly, you know, like, oh, uh, <clears throat> what is attacking, but is not doing anything. It's just putting pieces out, but there's really no danger. Because, I mean, it's not a uh, dark-colored piece of where queen can go here and attack the king. 
Uh, so you know, even though it's open right here, you can tell you can tell this is open. You can tell this is open right here. There's no danger to the king. The king is fine over here. So anyway, next move. I got free pawn. I got, and this is uh, basically trying to attack me again. Like should should have uh, done this one move earlier over here. So should have taken that one over here. So then he would have got. But he took the pawn over here and the knight move over there. And this is the only puzzle in this game over here. What should I do? All right, so uh, that now is bishop. Take the knight. The knight is guarded by the queen. So I did that. Boom. Take, the, take, take. Four. So that's. So that's what happened. So that's uh, the mistake. It, it goes from basically 1.9 to. 7.8 so yep so that that bishop's a goner basically and the fact that uh, the knight is protected by the pawn means the queen's not going to be able to retake you know get a fair equivalent exchange this one over here is protected with, by this rook over there so really there's nothing what can do next move And the queen takes the pawn over there, but that's not a good thing because what happened is it just opened up the file for my use like that. So the queen has to go away basically. And this is basically a, kind of like a, a waiting move. Uh, the knight can go here. If uh, somehow the pawn attacks here, the knight can go here, and this will be a very strong position to hold. So, uh, just waiting move, just waiting. How will white attack me? How, how will the pawn attack move? M uh, move basically. So, next move. So, obviously, that's target. protect that. I challenge the file over here. Move that. So suddenly it's staring at empty file. Nothing nothing to it. Meanwhile, I'm doubling up on that one over there. So, <coughs> so again, I have advantage. Very strong advantage. The rook that move out move back again. So that's a waste of tempo. That's a waste of tempo, really. So next move. This is very strong over here. Uh, basically, put all this stuff over here. Structurally, structurally, it's very strong over here. Of course, this is a concern, a, a base over there. And as long as uh, these two are basically attacking this one, the guardians gonna have to stay there. Uh, pretty much forever until this structure move. So and that's a waiting move. Uh, another possibility would be to put the rock over here. But <coughs> it's not Alkine Cannon. Uh, because the queen is forward and you're not supposed to have the queen forward, you're supposed to have the queen backward. Next move. Harassing the queen, of course harassing the queen. You cannot stay over here uh, on this any of these squares over here. Now the rook move over here, well that's a blessing. That's good for me because suddenly I can kick the queen out, and the queen can no longer basically can no longer attack the pawn, and I just have to move the pawn over here and take uh, 
four points against three and I would win. So next move. It has a good idea basically. Uh, pin and uh, rook to the king. But like I said, this is moving away from that file over there and it's basically useless. It's, it's empty threat. It's, it's a bluff. Also, this is blunder number three because he overlooked this move right here. Checkmate. And there you go. Nothing to it. Just a simple game. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.